You keep expecting people to be something that they're not. Be it your siblings, your parents, your children, your boss, your friends. You have this expectation that they're going to apologize for things they don't even show sure that they need to apologize for. You have this expectation that they're going to match up to your expectations. And they don't. And it sets you up for disappointment. Hey, I'm Rosemary on Unite. I am the Prosperity Minister. I support driven spiritual people to regain their confidence, to leave behind the pain and the limiting stories of the past, and to rise victorious in their true design life. I really, truly believe that your true design life is one of freedom, of fulfillment. It's a, it's a financially abundant life, and it's a love-drenched life, if you are willing to claim it. And this is one area, relationships, my goodness, it is one big area that sets people up to feel quite separated from their own prosperity, okay? You keep hoping that something that somebody else does is going to make you feel better on the inside. And I get it. If someone comes groveling and apologizing about some of the hurts and the pains that they've brought into your life, there can be a, a momentary um, satisfaction from that. The, the relationship can be healed for a season, but the actual thing that made you respond in the way that you're responding to them hasn't actually been sorted out because they triggered something in you. And that thing inside of you is just waiting to be triggered again by somebody else. Have you ever noticed that sometimes it almost feels as though you're being betrayed or hurt in exactly the same way by different people. And it does feel as though wherever you go, this seems to happen to you. It's because there's something inside of you that is being triggered by certain things that people do. And because of the energy of the thing, you are drawing these particular relationships to you. But this is the thing you're starting to grow. You have chosen to expand into a whole new experience of life. You have to remember who you are. You are one with the divine. The divine is your source, not anything, anything or anyone out there. Yes, it's nice to live in harmony with, our, with the people around us. Absolutely, of course it is. But expecting perfection from any human being is definitely setting yourself up for a fall. And I know you would say, I'm not expecting perfection. I just think people need to act in a certain way. You can say that all you like. People have different value systems. People have different ideas about how they should live. It, the fact that it is bugging you, that's what you need to pay attention to. What inside of you is being triggered by them? Now, okay, people sometimes do very obviously crazy things. I'm not saying that people shouldn't apologize. I'm not saying any of that. But what I'm saying to you is, if your happiness is dependent on what somebody else does, honey, you're a slave to them. You literally are allowing them to take your power. The divine is your source. That oneness within you is your source. But you have to get deliberate about cultivating a, a new relationship within yourself and a relationship with the divine that, that is healthy and wholesome and intimate. And as you do that, you will start to see that the relationships outside of you start to reflect what is already going on inside of you. So honey, you're putting your life on hold, waiting for this person to say sorry or this person to change or that situation to change. That needs to stop. You deserve to live free, fulfilled, financially abundant and a love-drenched life. But you have to be willing to let go of the things that stop you from doing that. And sometimes some relationships are not healthy, not in the form that they're in right now. Are you willing to consider a different way. One of the things that I take my clients through is, is the deliberate millionaire path to peace and plenty. This is how I support people in regaining their confidence. And I'm inviting you to come on, come on to the path. Commit to your growth. Commit to becoming someone who isn't triggered so easily. Or even, I know sometimes it takes a while for you to get angry, but... There is that trigger inside of you that, that just gets set off sometimes. Come on, let's get you on path to creating the life that you actually desire, not giving all your energy away to these relationship issues 
that tie you up and stop you from thinking clearly about what you want and how to get it. First step on the Deliberate Millionaire Path to Peace and Plenty is the Confidence Book. Around this video is a link. Go and get the book. Read the book. It gives you strategies for integrating, for resolving these areas inside of your heart that cause you to be triggered when people do certain things, say certain things, and that you're still holding on to right now. It gives you strategies to be free of that. And then from there on, you will hear more about the Deliberate Millionaire Path. First step, go get the book, okay? Look around this video, there's a link around it. Go get the book. I look forward to seeing you on path. Please share this video with somebody else, okay? Other people need to hear this stuff. It's time for us all to rise victorious in our true design. Imagine the difference we can make in the world when we do that. It's time to waken up. Awaken. Awaken! Okay? Much amazing love.